In the heart of Paris, in the troisième arrondissement, this museum harbors 5,000 masterpieces, of which mostly are created by the famous artist Pablo Picasso. In his hometown, Malaga, his passion for art was born and grew with him. Let's try to understand this genius through his art. At the age of 13, he began turning fashion photographs into grotesque images by drawing a few lines on them. For example, this issue of Vogue dating back to May 1951. Picasso took his art into a whole new direction in autumn 1906. He radically simplified forms and in close collaboration with the French painter Georges Braque, developed the new style of cubism. The death of his friend Carlos Casagemas pushed Pablo to develop a new melancholic style of painting using a palette entirely in shades of blue. Visiting Medrano Circus revived Picasso's interest in the theater arts. Regarded as the abstract branch of surrealism, biomorphism is characterized by supple organic forms that seem to harmonize with nature. After the Cubist period, the years 1918 to 23 are often described as classicizing, marked by a return to constructed figuration. He attended the ritual of bullfighting in Malaga from early childhood. He would continue to go to the bull ring throughout his life, first in Spain, then in the south of France. Throughout his art, he also gave pride to representations of animals, descendants of the surrealist hybridizations. In the 1930s, he played with the motif of stripes in his paintings, drawings and engravings. When other artists valued the African and Oceanian objects for their radical aesthetic, Pablo was fascinated by their magical aspect and the ability to action the world around them. We end up our visit with Robert Doineau's photographs taken that September morning in 1952. I hope you liked this short visit and until next time, 